All right, what's up guys? Kyle of Kyle Visuals here, and I'm gonna show you how to make a double exposure. Let's do it. All right, so I got my buddy Randis doing a little wonder action here. Um, got my friend requesting a double exposure. Um, wants to get the Chicago skyline and uh, just some things. Uh, that's where, you know, he's from Chicago, so we're gonna get some uh, Chicago, some of the Chicago skyline and a couple other different things that we can throw in, uh, you know, to really reflect on the city and give him a nice double exposure here. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just cutting out some of his lower half because that's where we're going to stick part of the cityscape. We're going to do a cityscape up top as well as on the bottom of his body in this tutorial. Um, you can always just do one or the other um, or multiple. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. I uh, want to get as much of Chicago in there and really capture his whole body with a nice, beautiful double exposure. So what I'm doing right now is just cutting out his entire body. The next step is going to be going down and layer via copy. So we're gonna get him out of the background. So now we just have him as the image. Next, we're gonna get a solid color. It's gonna be a black and white double exposure. So I'm gonna go with a light gray for now to fill in as the background. Then, once I do that, I realize that uh, I probably should use the square tool, you know, so you get a clean line all the way across. So I'm gonna go ahead and correct that really quick if I can do it on the correct part. All right, so we got it flattened out now. We got it flat and even. I'm gonna crop this down just a tiny bit. Put him right dead center in the middle. Hold up, and that should be adamant spacing. All right, so we got a couple different city looks. I think this will be great. We're gonna go ahead and go with this one first. Let's adjust the levels. Um, we wanna adjust these so the sky is really bright Pretty much overexposed. Um, you want to try and leave the city obviously looking nice. So uh, take down the shadows, or I'm sorry, boost the shadows. Do what you need to. Um, but then once you do that, you're gonna white out completely around the buildings. Again, don't worry so much about getting it perfect. It's gonna be such a small part on the image. No one really notice unless they're really investigating your photo. So just white out around the buildings, and we'll come back later and really touch these up and, and clean it up and make them all you know nice and straight so they don't have kind of these curves and bumps from using the eraser. Next, you're gonna bring the image in. I'm gonna flip this uh, vertically. So go to Edit Transform, Flip Vertical. Um, I want this one to be going on the bottom. So once I get it flipped, I'm gonna go ahead and work to line it up exactly how I want. Then I noticed uh, I missed out on some of these white spots here, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean those up really quick. And I think I have it You know where I want to put it. You're going to be selected on your image of the skyscrapers. Then I'm going to hit command and click on the image of Randis. That'll select his figure and then I'm going to go and create a layer mask. Once I have this layer mask lining the skyscrapers with his body, then I'm going to go ahead and go to the brush. We're going to make sure that white is on top of black in the bottom, bottom uh, left corner. So then we're going to go ahead and reveal these skyscrapers below his body. So I'm going to go ahead and line this up, set it up the same way. So here I am, just go ahead and cleaning and brushing up, revealing all of these buildings. Get it to where I want to work with from the start. Again, you can always narrow down and make you know, the buildings less and less. They don't have to be coming out, out of his shoulders. They can just come from his head or his hat. Um, but I'm gonna start here and just work from there. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the overlapping buildings. So I'm deleting the second layer, uh, which I went and threw on top. So this is the skyscrapers facing properly um, upwards uh, and going straight. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that all of, off of his suit. I'm gonna delete that off his body so it's only the cityscape going downwards showing on his body. Now we notice that there is some missing parts um, around his neck area, I kinda of messed that up. So what I'm gonna do is bring in another version of the sky, uh, cityscape 
Now I'm going to go ahead and copy, uh, copy out um, the different pieces that I need to replace that area. So once I get them in the proper spots, you know, I'm going to clean them up and make sure I match the color correctly um, and set them in the proper position. So everything looks good now. Now we're going to go around and we're going to remove his part from the image. So we're going to remove his body so it's just the skyscraper below. Next, we're going to cut out these different parts of the skyscrapers. We're going to cut out, again, I want to make these a lot more realistic um, and clean looking. So we're going to fix all those, um, all those eraser mistakes and clean it up and make it look nice. So we got that good. So now I'm going to go through again and I had to fix it, uh, change up the angle so it looked a little better to me, more visually pleasing. Uh, it looked like it was slightly on an angle. So now it looks straight and good. Um, we got to clean it up around the suit. Again, taking some off um, until it looks proper. All right, again, this is going to be black and white. So let's go ahead and switch that over. Now we're going to desaturate Randis's face first. All right, so now we're cutting out Randis's face. We obviously want to still have him be in the photo, um, and he's a big part of it, the main main focus and subject. Um, we want the city to embody him and highlight him. So there we are. Got Randis in there. Let's adjust these. We're going to make the whole thing black and white here, and then adjust these measurements as needed. I think this looks clean. All righty. Next step. We're going to go around here and we're going to go ahead and select around Randis entirely. I'm going to delete the cities around his sides. I don't think I want those popping off the shoulder. I think I prefer it just, you know, coming from his head. I'm going to delete those all out and clean it up till it looks really nice and proper. Liking what I see. I want to fix up the left side of his head. Next I'm bringing Chicago. I want to give him a nice tie with Chicago. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and delete everything out of this image except for the Chicago sign. There we are coming along. I want to make sure I line this up properly. There we are. Perfect. I think that looks good. Delete the rest. Very good. Awesome looks really clean all right so next thing we want to do is again I want to finish up deleting around it and I noticed that you know usually you have part of the tie is tucked under the collar so I'm going to go ahead and cut off part of both of these um, so it looks like it's underneath this collar aka the city um, I think that looks beautiful so I'm gonna leave it as that for now all righty Next step that I'm going to take, I'm going to go ahead and clean up some of these names. You should probably name things properly, label them properly in the beginning. Uh, unfortunately, I make the mistake of not doing that. All right, next, let's match the top cityscape with the bottom. Um, so we're going to go ahead and adjust the levels here until it matches properly. I think that looks good. Now we're going to go ahead and group all these images together. Let's adjust with some brightness and contrast. And then I still don't like this city entirely. I'm going to clean up a little more so they feel even on top of his head. Then once I got everything nice and even, I think we may be done. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit more. I still want to bring it in a tiny bit. And I don't like just cutting off on that building with this angle. Um, I definitely think we need a straight building coming up. So I'm just going to have to cut this in a little more and remedy this little situation we got going on here. All right, that's it here at Cal Visuals, folks. Thanks for stopping by and be sure to come around next Wednesday at 8 p.m. for another great how-to video. Hit that subscribe button because we got great content coming your way. And please, you got anything you want us to talk about, leave a comment below.